Hey guys, so I have a resin update to show you. So I'll start off with the very plain pieces. Um, they're just uh, little um, cabochons that I made with leftover resin. And they're made out of the molds that I made. And either the cabochon turned out funny or uh, I did a bad job. But the Hello Kitty turned out kind of funny and a little rough. And the bow in the center is indented. So... I don't know how to feel about this one. Um, it's just that when you're using Amazing Mold Putty, your pieces do not come out shiny, so it's a little bit of pain to glaze them. And so then I made this very simple Hello Kitty bow, and I need to sand it and glaze it, and I hope to turn it into a charm. Then the next couple of pieces um, I'm not sure what to turn them into. I don't know if I want them as charms or as necklaces. But I have these uh, Rilakkuma pieces. And the really tiny Rilakkuma stickers that I got from an online shop. I don't even remember what the name of it was. Um, I think it was like Anime Kawaii Castle. And then they changed their name and the URL. And I lost track of them, so I don't know. Um, where they are, but I bought really tiny Rilakkuma and Kimono Hashikama stickers, and I absolutely adore them. I mean, they're just so fun to use, and they're so small, and I like how they fit into the smallest molds that I have, and I'm kind of not sure, like, what to do. Again, I said that maybe rings or something like that. I really enjoy this piece because, um... I was able to fit two stickers into it. So I have those. And I tried to keep them as simple as possible without going overboard. Then I have this piece. It was in a past resin update, but I added to it by using the little tiny stickers. So I used blue, like sky blue paint, and then I used the glitter glue and, um, Use a dab of glue to keep the stickers in place and then domed resin over it. So the piece itself is a little big to add this, so that's why I add Kiritori to the back. But uh, I do like how it adds to the resin piece. Because you have this adorable resin piece with the background that you chose out. Then you turn it around and it also has a little added effect to it. So I really enjoy making pieces like these. Um, of course they take time considering you have to put detail on both the front and the back of the resin piece. And then I have this uh, simple Mamagoma piece using the stickers that Kenny sent me. And I'm a little bummed that the heart turned out a little lopsided, but it's nothing I can do about it now. It's very simple. I need to glaze this one. Then I used paper tape to make this resin piece and I believe I got it from um, Winnie and so I kind of dislike this piece because I went overboard on the hearts even though it's three uh, one would have been really cute if I moved the sticker over and put it between the teddy bear and Krillikuma uh, so I might try and remake this piece itself and it's just fairly simple I've just been going on a simple route recently so I have that, and then the next three pieces have heart confetti in them, so I'll show you this one. This one's a fail. It's uneven and lopsided and bumpy in the back, and this was after quite some amount of time of sanding. So this piece cannot be saved, um, and I was a little bummed because I really liked the purple cellophane that I put in the back. And then I put pink heart confetti around Alice. And I thought it came out pretty cool. I used um, a tutorial that Amy, I think, shared before on Facebook about coloring cellophane. And I just used a, just a very small dot of acrylic paint. So then I have this Kudasita Nyanko resin piece. And again, I put heart confetti and I think I put purple and pink and I think blue and um, it's fairly simple I kind of wanted to um, just make a stripe of pink but my hand got a little shaky then I put a little heart in the back 
Then the last one that I use confetti with is this stitch one that I love. I used the cellophane technique to make it yellow and I added blue confetti hearts to it and I really love how this one turned out. It's shimmery and it's bright and it's yellow and blue and it has stitch in it and it makes them pop out even more and I think this piece came out really nice. So I want to make more pieces like this. So yeah, this was my resin update. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to make more resin pieces this summer, especially since it will be warming up and resin cures faster in summer. So I'm excited for that, and I'm really excited for just having a break from school. And I really want to craft. I miss it so much. And I would like to have bigger batches than this small one. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and just not minding the time that I take between videos now. So thank you very much. Bye.